as soon as a black person starts to go outside the matrix, you get the Mr. Smiths coming at you left and right, trying to bring you back in because you're outside the program. You're fucking up the system now. You're changing the perspective of people. That's what I'm doing. And that's what most normal black people do. <laughs> Yo, we got an ignorant ass day today. I think these devs are going a little cuckoo. There's been a lot of incidents to where I'm pretty sure you guys, if you've been on X or, you know, Twitter, you've seen a lot of instances to where game devs are actually being outspoken and saying very stupid shit that are tanking all of their products. And they're all doing it in the same manner. And I think I'm just going to be honest with you. After this election, all these left wing people, and this is coming from a person who's not political. But it's so clear to see because y'all make it so easy for us. All these left wing people are literally going batshit crazy to where they don't know what to do. They're all showing who they really are now. First, you got this guy named Matt who deleted his Twitter because of his ridiculous, retarded rant saying that he only want to hire black artists and don't want to hire crusty old white dudes. The people saying game devs need to call out gamers more often. This needs to be a popular practice. Gamers cry way too much. So now you're going against the gamers because we're not shoving in our mouth, which you're trying to put on our plate. So now it's our fault now. Then you got the ex God of War dev from back in the day who is saying, and I never thought I would say this shit from my point of view, sexist remarks against Vera Dark for being a uh, mental lightweight. Then you got the dev from this game called Mouthwashing because apparently people did fan art on a game that is public to the public to everybody. I don't understand how this is a big deal. There's always fan art of everything that comes out and hit the public space, especially if they like your character. If I came out with a game with a main character that people liked, guess what they're gonna do? Come up with fan art for it. Get fucking over it, Jesus Christ. Apparently he has a problem when As Asmago playing this game, cause he put this, this is the guy named Mark. The anti-woke crowd has found the game and I feel sick to my fucking stomach. What a pussy. Being on Twitter is going to be unbelievably painful from now on that I don't know if I can be active on here. You are a bitch. This, this shit is getting on my nerves. I don't have the energy for this. I don't have the energy for your pussy behavior. These people on this, I swear these people are mentally ill. And that's the reason why I'm not mad at a singular person. I'm mad at the entire entity. That's why when I say that this shit needs to be tore down, it needs to be tore down because these people are all like a hive mind. They all think alike. They think that them doing this type of shit is going to somehow make us fall in line. And you know how I know this shit too? I experienced something like this myself because I recently made a video about Avowed, right? About how I didn't like the fact that, you know, from any normal black person's point of view, we don't like being told that, oh, you're going to make us cut in front of the line strictly because you feel bad that I couldn't get to the front or that you feel like I can't get to the front. You're not going to do that to me. I recently got a comment like this. And the reason why I'm singling out this comment is specifically, I get a lot of these comments though, but I'm singling this out because this guy is the perfect subject to put this ignorance on full display. Let me show you guys something right quick. I got this comment on my avowed video from this guy named Action Hank. I'm going to give this guy a lot of clout because um, this is what I call these people doing. I call this a yank chain tactic. This is what he's trying to do for people like me. Black people especially get this a lot, especially when they go on their own route. So this is what he says to me. He, he said, you still out here thinking if you go against your own interests, they'll accept you. Let me break this sentence down right here. What do you mean go against my own interests? What the fuck do you know of my interests? What do you think my interests are? How do you even know my interests when you don't know me as a person? Oh, you're just assuming you know what my interests are because I'm black. So you think I have the same interests as the people that you think are interested in? You got over 400 comments here. But under 40 viewers live, that's not important. I don't care about numbers. Let me help you change the title of your stream to I don't need a handout from woke avowed death, which means that he's basically saying this because he think I'm grifting. That's basically what he think he's what he think I'm doing right now. So he basically said this statement because he's he's basically trying to say you need more headlining topics because you're not grifting hard enough. Let me help you to grift. That's basically what he's saying right now. Now I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Or what are you talking about? Because it's a dumbass statement because for anybody who has common sense and for anybody who has been following me for a while, you guys know, I don't give a fuck about numbers. I don't care about views. I don't care about any of that shit. If I did, I'm in the wrong field and I'm on the wrong platform because this platform is, works against people like me. I'm not like everybody else on this platform. I talk way vulgar than everybody. I talk more upfront than everybody. I'm not a mainstream person. So if I wanted to grift, all I had to do was tighten myself up a little bit, talk about the subjects that everybody want to talk about, make 50,000 videos a day, 
on every single subject that y'all think is important, that will be grifting. That's not what I do over here. I talk about all the shit that I find important. So let's move on. So we know it's not about that. It's about me being a black guy and he think I'm going against my interests, which is Matt trying to give me a handout because I'm black. So this is what he said next. He says, I'm talking about you going out of your way to let them know you're one of the good ones and you're angry that the guy wants to hire more of your kind. First and foremost. Yeah. Read his comment right here. You're kind, but he just self-reported himself. Yeah, he fucking did. See, this is what these liberal ass white people did. And how do I know he's liberal white person? It's easy. They all speak the same. See, he's doing this, trying to be invite to the cookout type shit right now. He thinks that he's on the side of black people who will call me a cone, right? The black people who are, you know, the ones who's like, oh, you can't be going against your own kind of shit. You can't be talking shit about your own people. Those are the black people who he's trying to appeal to. But since he's a dumbass, he doesn't realize how ignorant his statement is. Black people who are actually doing something with their lives don't even like those black people. You're trying to be on the, on the side of black people who's actually trying to keep me down and who's trying to keep me on the field for massa. I ask you who this nigga on that name. That's what you're trying to do right now. And you don't even realize that because you just think that all black people think the same. That's your racist showing right now. So now you basically said that for some odd reason, you have to teach that old man, which is Matt, the people you're trying to side with do not like you, bro. You're embarrassing yourself. Every single time a black person, and I'm pretty sure black people watch me, y'all already know this is the truth. Anytime a black person tries to, I would say, think for themselves, there is always a person that come out of their way from the system. And that's what I'm going to call them. You know, the agents in um, the Matrix movie, like Mr. Smith and shit. As soon as a black person start to go outside the Matrix, you get the Mr. Smith's coming at you left and right, trying to bring you back in because you're outside the program. You're fucking up the system now. You're changing the perspective of people. That's what I'm doing. And that's what most normal black people do. So when we get into a room or speak loudly through a mic like this, most people don't like that I'm speaking like this on a mic, including him. He's an agent. So he has to come out and let me know, hey, you're black. Remember that you have to come back here. You can't you can't think for yourself. Fall back in line. That's basically what this statement is. And you know, it's funny to me. I don't get the shit from white people in public. I get the shit from black people and we get into a heated discussion. And every single time when I get into a heated discussion about this shit with black people, because this type of victim mentality has no merit or no logic behind it, they automatically crumble. And they automatically be like, oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, I do sound like a bitch for wanting the very white people I complain about to do something for me. You have no logic or no merit to stand on when you get in the room with me, and you start talking about race shit. Y'all don't want this discussion with me because I don't I don't fold and I do not care how many people come at me when it comes to me talking about thinking for yourself. You're not going to get me to back down on this. I'm going to keep on talking about this shit. And if motherfuckers, especially, and I'm saying that to niggas, because there's a difference between black people and niggas. I'm just going to keep it real. I'm not a house nigga. I don't need white people to help me out. And I don't need a person like Action Hank, who I know is a white liberal. I don't need you to, to help me recognize who I am as a person. You're not going to do that shit to me. You're going to be very disappointed coming over here doing that type of shit to me. But I made this point to let you guys know these people and these game devs, that are coming out acting full retard. They're showing themselves because they lost control. This is this whole person is a definition of losing control. He's desperate. Why the fuck would you put this on my comment section when you know who I am as a person? You just exposed yourself as the real racist you actually are. See, back in the day, this would work. Everybody would probably be on your side. Everybody would probably be like, oh yeah, Jay, you tripping. You need to get back in line, shit like that, such and such. It would be more people on his side. But now since the veil has been lifted and y'all going full retard because y'all have nowhere else to go. Y'all are like a cat in the corner that has no other choice but to fight desperately. So you look retarded now. Now, these people are, you know, these liberals, these liberals are pro, are supposed to be pro um, LGBTQ plus, right? They're supposed to be pro race, DEI, me. They're supposed to be pro me, right? And they're supposed to be pro women. How come? When you're on the other side, all that shit goes out the door. If you're on the other side of the fence with these people who preach this shit, all of a sudden they're sexist, all of a sudden they're racist, and all of a sudden they can give a fuck about DEI or LGBTQ plus or anything because they throw that gay shit out the window when it comes to making money in other countries. They don't care about it. So this is what I'm telling you guys. I'm exposing these fake ass people. These people are fake as fuck. I'm going to show you how this guy, David Jeffy, who was a part of the best franchise that PlayStation ever brought to the God of War was edgy. 
and they didn't give a fuck about nudity and all the type of shit. They was the most edgiest PlayStation game to come to the market, and he was a part of it. And now look how this beta male is talking. You've become the very caricature that gamers roll their eyes at. Someone so consumed by their political bubble, they can't see how far removed they've become from the average person. I mean, your remarks about Vera Dark, I mean, oh man, what a great example. You just don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do this. You are in that chair, Vera, because of your hair and your face and your gender. By accusing her of succeeding solely due to her appearance, you not only undermine her hard work, but also expose the hypocrisy of your so-called progressivism. By his own definition, from his own side and his own people that he chose to be a part of, is sexist from his perspective. Because if I was to say this about any other person on his side, which I have got called sexist before, he would be saying the exact same thing that I'm saying to him to me. But because Vera is on the other side and he doesn't value her as an ally, all of a sudden he gets to say that the only reason why you're in that seat is because of your hair, your looks, and because you're a a woman, how the tables have turned on y'all ideology. Y'all became the same people that y'all claim that we are on this side. You can't say that on your side because now you look hypocritical. Y'all put yourself so much into a corner that y'all can't say the very thing that y'all change yourselves into being now. Now you're basically, <laughs> you know what's so funny? Y'all look like the right wing extremists. Now you're speaking just like an Andrew Tate. Guess what you would say to Andrew Tate if he said the same thing about an OnlyFans model or about women in general? You will call him sexist. Y'all hypocrisy is showing through the roof. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on talking about this shit. I don't, I'm not gonna speak on this Vera Dark situation because I don't believe that she needs anybody to, you know, defend her. She's her own person. And plus, too, from my perspective, I don't know too much about her. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy of somebody like David Jaffe, who is a raging liberal, to say what you would get after the right for saying. You would get after Andrew Tate or anybody else on that side for saying the same shit about OnlyFans models or women that's on your side. You will call him sexist and misogynist. But now, since because you're a liberal and you believe that you're righteous, all of a sudden you can say that and nothing's going to happen to you. You guys showed your hand. As I said before, y'all went for a retard. <clears throat> enjoy these four years because I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of it.